one more evening and one more day in life interesting this life is very enigmatic i think i got to understand everything i wanted i went to places i desired i met with people i liked this world the people amazing there is still so much to learn in life anyway i will do that but one thing is still elusive i have been searching and searching but still no luck this understanding of god has not been fulfilling i have gone through so many books is it that god is so complicated that i can't understand or is it that my mind is so complicated that i am not able to comprehend a simple god i thought i will once get a glimpse of him whatever the holy scriptures books of all religions and faiths i have studied one common thing i find is god is a form of light 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 and now there is plenty of light and light oh yeah those papers he gave long ago will i get something in it okay let me take it up hmm this might take hours for me to go through no no honestly i need to devote some more time for understanding god and for my own sake from time immemorial humanity at large has been looking towards god for many reasons based on certain beliefs praying worshiping pleading requesting thanking offering surrendering meditating these are several ways through which people express their profound faith and love for god and make sincere efforts to reach out to him be it for a ray of hope when desperate for protecting near and dear ones in times of distress for seeking strength to face dire and critical situations asking for the well-being of the humanity or for fulfilling their wishes god is often the last but the most important being remembered for intense believers he is not just a supreme being he is everything especially in times of crisis he is the savior the liberator the trouble shooter unseen helping hand the hand that soothes and relieves many pains they feel that they have every natural right over him irrespective of how they would have considered god before god is held liable if ever in their opinion he did not come to their help they believe God is obliged to fulfill all their heartfelt pleas for painful tasks. There are a few who have cried, wept and shed precious tears of love in search for God. For them, God is the most beloved. They have serious issues and sweet complaints lined up against him. That he never appeared before them. whenever they called out to him or long to see him with their physical eyes is one such serious complaint to the learned scholars and pundits god is a topic of serious discussions subject of deep conversations the source of evolution of different philosophies faiths theories rituals and religious practices with their scholarly knowledge and experiences accumulated over their rigorous study in the field of philosophy and theism they give explanations of god 
his identity and methods to attain him in innumerable ways. People have also made God a guest. They would call out for his help whenever required and relegate him to oblivion for an indefinite period of time after their wishes are fulfilled. In times of happiness, he is conveniently forgotten. However, in times of distress, God is taken for granted to be their natural troubleshooter. They feel he should somehow understand their situation and expect him to shower his grace upon them to get rid of their problems. In other words, he should create miracles as and when needed. God is praised for bestowing peace, happiness and abundance. He is also blamed, thinking that he is responsible for their sorrow. The interesting point is, before undertaking a work that would have brought them sorrow, his permission or opinion was never sought for. But when something goes wrong, they have the audacity to accuse God as to why he was not kind to them. There are also people who are weary and scary of God. Fear rather than love grips at the very mention of God. What if God curses? Is God angry? But at the same time, there is a lot of devotion and deep feelings for God. Then there are people who keep thanking for everything as they believe God has bestowed upon them. And then there are those who pray to God out of obligation that they need to keep the family tradition alive. Some consider other great beings to be gods. There have been many elevated great human beings. They could be godly. They may have uplifted and guided many people. But then, even the most elevated people pray to God. And then, there are conversations that are not uncommon. They include conversations like, If God exists, show Him. If God is kind, let Him solve my problems. If He is merciful, people on earth should not undergo sorrow in the world. Why God does not prevent untowards incidents? Elements of nature like earth, water, air, fire and ether have been coexisting with humanity. The sun, the moon, various planets have always been there. Many consider them to be God. But it is also believed that God created the world. On one hand, God is considered to be present in everything and everywhere. Yet on the other hand, people do call out to God, believing He is elsewhere. Why would people ignore things around them and intuitively look about to call Him if God is omnipresent? There are also people who don't believe the very existence of God. They think God is a non-existing entity. For them, God is a thing of fiction or imagination. Then, there are also people who do not consider God to exist. However, they do believe in the presence of some sort of supernatural power. 